Things eventually die and later on undergo decay. Decaying is a process that causes changes among biodegradable solid materials. The process of decay is very important. Without it, dead organisms and waste materials would pile up and interfere with the habitats of living things. In this activity, you will learn to describe and classify materials based on their ability to undergo decay. Oh! Hello everyone! You just got me cleaning! When we clean our backyard, we put dry leaves in the compost pit. Are you doing that, kids? Wow! That sounds amazing! Do you have a compost pit at home? You are really awesome! You are helping our Mother Earth. But it's not yet too late for those who don't have it. I bet you must tell your parents to make one compost pit in your backyard. Let us take a look and study this compost pit. What are the things inside it? Perfect! You're right! There are dry leaves, mango, grasses, and many more. These things are garbage. We throw them because we already use them. This kind of garbage all comes from living things. Would you believe that after a few days or months, the materials in the compost pit will turn into soil? Yes, that's true! Consider this mango seed. The mango seed after a few days or months starts to decay or change into tiny bits and later on will turn into soil. Ah, is that magic? Of course not! The garbage from living things changes into soil because they are exposed to sunlight, water, soil, and action of microorganisms like bacteria and germs. And when these materials become soil, they will become fertilizer to the plants so that the plants will grow fast and healthy. Wait! I also have here other garbage. They are non-living things. These are plastic cups, sachets, metal cups, and wrappers. Is it right if we throw them in a compost pit? It's a big no! Why we should not throw plastic cups in a compost pit? Yes! You are correct! We should not throw plastic cups, sachets, and metal cups in the compost pit because they do not decay or change even after many years. They will not change into beets and soil. They will not become fertilizer to the plants. Now, look at your friend beside you. Show him a thumbs up if you understand about the materials that undergo decay. Oh, that is really awesome! I'll give you two thumbs up! I will show you the materials 
and tell me if they undergo decay or do not undergo decay. Are you ready now? Does it undergo decay? Or does not undergo decay? Good job! It undergoes decay. Does it undergo decay? Or does not undergo decay? Very good! You got it right! It does not undergo decay. Now, it's time for you to check your compost pit. Write the materials in your compost pit that undergo decay. Kids, have fun!